Hello everyone, and today what I want to show you is how you can make yourself uh, into a meme. So what we're going to talk about is how you take a, a picture and kind of do a couple different effects to create the ever popular kind of memes. And we're going to do this in the style of like a uh, lame pun raccoon or a uh, success kid. So the first thing you do is get a picture of yourself. And sometimes maybe it's not such a flattering picture. So here's an example of me. I want to make myself into what I'm going to call overly excited teacher. So my end result is going to look something similar to this. All right. So let's talk about how we do that. So the first thing in the, I have to do in this picture is we're going to take this and I'm going to cut out just my head. Because if we're kind of going in that kind of styling of like a success kid, we only want just the head. Um, sometimes there's a torso, actually, I guess, in uh, success kid. So you could have that. Uh, but I'm going to kind of do it this way. So I'm going to come around here using my lasso tool. And don't worry if you get too much of the area around your head because um, we can use an eraser to take that out. So it's better to get too much than too little. So I'm going to finish coming around here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy. Let's say edit copy. No, I didn't do cut. I actually just want to edit copy. And then I'm going to do edit paste. And you'll see it makes it into a new layer, which is good. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this layer. So I'm going to double click my lock and I'll hide it. So I just hide the background. Now this is a good chance to take your eraser tool and clean up uh, the area oops, clean up the area um, around your head that you kind of missed or didn't select so well. So this is why I kind of said it's better to make sure you over select than under select. So just a little quick kind of touch up. I mean, you could take a lot of time in here if you really want and cleaned up well. Just be careful you don't uh, accidentally cut off a ear or do something kind of weird. I'll kind of level out my uh, head there. That's pretty good. Now the next thing I do, need to do is I'm going to make this canvas more of a square instead of a rectangle. So I'm going to come up to image and I'm going to go to canvas size. And here, this picture was 1080 by 720. So I'm going to do it 1080 width and height. So what I need to do is click the middle anchor. I'm going to change the height here to 1080 and hit OK. So now what I have, and let's zoom out here a little bit, is I have just this nice rectangle. Now the next thing, if we think of like Success Kid, is there's a kind of color pattern in the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to make sure it's below my face. There you go. And I'm going to grab, come over here to use a new tool, the little drawing tool. I'll click this guy. I'm going to select line. Now, um, this kind of matters how big your image was, but I'm going to make this a little thicker. I'm going to say like four, let's do like six. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line like here. Oh, and I actually didn't want to use black, so I'm going to go edit undo. Actually, I want to use this blue. I'm going to draw a line here. And I'll draw another line over here. Now, I'm going to use my paint bucket. I'm going to color in this square, maybe this square. And then I'm going to switch to a yellow, and I'll color in this square and this square. So I have a little color pattern. It's kind of reminiscent of some of uh, the earlier memes. Um, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my text tool. And I'm going to have, uh, you'd have a line across the top and a line across the bottom. So it kind of matters which kind of uh, meme you're doing, um, how you're going to do it. Um, but I'm going to do kind of, just kind of overdo the same one I did here. So I'm going to click up on top. You want to set your color, so I'm going to pick like a white. I want to do center. Now the fonts that you have available may be different because this is going to pull some from my computer. I found that Adobe Arabic looked pretty good. Whoops. Let's try that again. Now, let's see, let's fix my font color. 
and let's center it. I'll hit OK. Now while I'm clicked on that text layer, I'm going to grab my Move tool and move it over. Now we can see it's kind of hard to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a shadow behind the text to make it pop out. And the way I'll do that is I'm going to right click this layer and say Duplicate. Once I do that, I'm going to grab, uh, let's see, one of these layers looks like it changed. Yep, see this one's not center anymore. So I'm actually going to take that layer and let's grab my text tool. We'll click on this one. Let's tell it to center again. And I'm going to change the color to black. And you could do a different color if you wanted. I want to swish these little layers around. So now the black is on bottom of white. Let's click the right layer here and grab that black text one and kind of position it. Once you get in a close spot where you think it's good, you can actually use your arrow keys to bump it around to find a good spot for it to go. So it's kind of cool. You can try different things. Normally, the blockier the text, the better. Um, so you kind of want to be uh, thinking of that. Now let's add the bottom line. I'll click down here. Now I've been noticing that I've had this problem with Pixlr where um, when I click some text I can't see down here. What I've had to do is just zoom out a little bit in my browser and then it lets me see. So let's, uh, I'm going to make that one black. Oops. Black. I'm stuck on that little uh, thing there. Let's hit OK. I'm going to hit OK. I'm not going to worry about centering that one because it's only one line. So I can just kind of center it by hand. So then I'm going to duplicate that rare by layer by right clicking it and saying duplicate. And I'll grab my text tool, pick this one, and let's make the font white. Now I'm going to click that bottom one. This is my black one right here. I'm going to use my arrow keys on my keyboard to nudge it around. That's pretty good right there. Now I could have done a little better work. Uh, you can see I actually did a little better down here um, with my font selection. This one didn't turn out quite as well as I think I liked. But you can kind of play with it and you get different looks. So that's how you can easily make yourself into a meme. Thanks for watching.